directed and wrote this, please. Writers. Arijit Bisva Sriram. All of you. Music Amitri Bedi. Bravo. Bravo. Wow. Bravo. 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 Amit, you're a god. Those writers that sat in a room and decided to make this film. Are you okay? This writer, though, this Riram guy, you're not correct, and bro, we, you it's must, you must go to f***ing groups of psychological therapy, bro. That is or nuts. Or you read a lot of really f***ed up Russian <laughs> philosophy. <laughs> Just something so beautiful about this whole film was definitely the music. Yeah. So. Especially the pop tracks. I want to talk about the pop tracks because in a murder mystery, you have a lot of themes of tension, a lot of themes of mystery uh, obscurity usually in western films you would exemplify those uh, themes by adding a, a theme score that kind of like brought forth some of that tension so working a lot with second harmonies with seventh harmonies or bringing ninth harmonies into the play and usually amplified by a brass section especially given the fact that this film was heavily influenced with jazz so you would have wanted to take advantage of that however the brilliant theme of this is film is that it's also a comedy it's also refreshing and it never really goes really really dark even though it, it explores, could have they really it, yeah, could have it man. could have really gone really really dark but because it has themes of lighter comedy and and perhaps something a bit more superficial you had to implement in the music it being such a breathing entity, a character of the whole film, that brightness. And how do you do that? Bringing heavily complex pop tracks into the mix. And you get introduced to them at the beginning, where all things are great, and at heavy moments of, of conflict, which I thought are two pinnacle things, factors that really theme out the film. I really really love the music here the movie overall the, the main highlight of that is 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 this idea of you don't just have the characters you also have an overseeing entity a, a, a muse which is described as or, or portrayed as in the music because the music really is its own character can um, i just say it's very rare to see this in movies i know that we talk about often in this film so at, at the end of the films we'll always say that the music is a breathing character as well as the rest of the actors well, it depends it depends in what sense not we've never talked about it in this sense but i want to bring into focus though that in this particular film the music score actually represents us the viewers because it's also bringing you in to the whole storyline and you're seeing it as you're experiencing the music well because the entity is us knowing Correct. we played a character the audience and the music score plays the character of knowing the truth the truth that the other characters cannot know because they live in this confined environment this confined universe we are like a god mm -hmm. we and that's why using music as that is so good because it is a a non physical entity more like a spirit like a muse like a like a god if you like that's the that's the real world his world the artistic the 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 make believe world the lying world is the world where he's blind and that's why music is so present there that's why that's so beautiful because this world does not have any shades of black that's true right but then the real world is very different my friend and if you commit the mistake of making your make believe world try and intoxicate the absolute truths through lying and you deceive your way into the world you will be nothing but corrupted and the world won't forgive you for that i love the fact that you you don't have a righteous man you don't have a righteous woman fighting for the truth or to trying to unveil the the the, the make-believe or or the charade itself you actually <laughs> the good-natured people got murdered <laughs> they both died okay well because because even um uh, the the his love interest sophie yeah it, she she's not she's the most righteous character in the whole thing but she's not but you know what she is she's just a victim but you know why she never got pulled into the 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 drama is because she wasn't corrupted like the the, the rest of the characters around her. Uh, she wasn't willing to sacrifice her values. Her moral compass was never deviated from who she was. Correct. You broke my heart. I know you're a liar. You deceived me. I leave. That's it. 
Yes. It's not like, oh, but I'm really in love and my emotions start to get hold of my moral compass yes. and I yes. make bad judgment because what I love you. What is gray, nah. m- gray, morally gray? What nah, does that bro. mean? No, no, no. She knew exactly what he meant and but she walked away from it. That's such a good sign of good writing. And again, uh, not no pacing issues. It really does things very well. The running time is perfect. I felt like Fabulous two hours is acting. perfect. Wow, every single character, even the wife of the policeman, was great, great eating actress. that performance. They breathed, lift those characters. Very impressed by Ayushman. Uh, because Phenomenal. this is actually a very difficult character because you're playing three characters in one. Yes. You're playing one character, which is a, a deceitful, artistic liar. Then you're, you're playing a second character, which is a disturbed person who's being slapped by life mm-hmm. and making. He's being made pay. He, for his lies and then you're playing a third character which is the make-believe character which is remorseful and still in touch with which his is art a, which and is a victim and i just think but that's not him he's he's an actor no no he's no 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 in, in the whole uh, cash he's oh, an yeah. actor no no I, i also feel like the, he's acting through his life the story changes him yes he's not the same person at the beginning of the story as he's at the end so to make you believe that he was still just a simple guy artist that wanted to make music and oh, I, i have remorse and <laughs> Mate, I've seen people be stabbed with medical scissors seven times. I was about to be an organ donor, non-consensually, and be in the f***ing trafficking market. I saw I w- three people die. <laughs> I, I lied about my ISA and then I actually lost my ISA. I was nearly hung with my bed sheets. Like... Yeah, and you think it's gonna be the same? It's not, la, it's la, not. La, 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 guy? That's no. why, and that's why that, that scene where he kicks the... where he f***ing hits the thing. What do you call that thing? The stick. Cane. The, yes, cane. the cane. It has a rage. It has. It has disdain. It has. It has hurt. But it's done with a cane that has the rabbit-looking thing. Mm-hmm. That's the story he's also decided to tell himself because it makes it easier for you to become a liar to the world that way if you believe your own lies. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Anhadhun. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>